Oh, Keith and Caroline, the decision you're making today is a decision to join your individual lives together for the lifelong purpose of glorifying God and serving God as a couple. It's the decision to partake of one of the greatest gifts God has ever given to mankind, the gift of marriage. It's the decision to accept the other person just as they are with all of their faults and differences. It's the decision to represent God in the institution of marriage. I'm sure to everybody in this room that you've been an encouragement to them and a blessing. Uh, so we're so thankful for you and we trust that, that God will honor your faithful service uh, together as a couple in the same way that God's honored your faithful service to him uh, as, as individuals. ago, I was content with not getting married anytime soon, <laughs> but God had different plans. When he brought you into my life, I was in awe of how you cared for me, listened to me, made me feel safe, and that someone as good looking as you would be <laughs> interested in me. <laughs> You're the best guy I know. You make me feel known and heard. You lighten me up when I feel heavy. You laugh at my jokes. You're my best friend. I know that God will use our marriage to help me grow and be shaped into my glory self. You will help me become more like Christ. I'm truly grateful to God for how he weaved our lives together. And I can't wait to experience the adventure that he has for us. Whether laughter filled highs or tears soaked lows, by your side, no matter what comes. I cherish every single element of our story and I promise to tell it to you and to others every chance that I get. I promise to always seek to point you to Christ, uh, that we would both always remember His love for us and His calling on our lives. I promise to strive to always be gentle with you, to listen to you, to respect you, to cherish your perspective, and to make you feel valued, cared for, and safe. And I promise never to leave you. I know that life will bring many challenges and trials, but I will never forsake this covenant that we are making today. I love you with all my heart, Caroline. The Bible tells us that God created each of us uniquely in our mother's womb. That God was forming us and shaping us and making us and creating us, us all uniquely. And that's something that we all know very well. And, but because of that, before weddings, I like to meet with the, uh, the bride and the groom and just to ask them some questions about um, how God was uniquely forming their spouse to be. You guys both had plenty to say and you said the exact same things about each other. It was, it was uncanny. And naturally, you both began with a uh, with sense of humor and then you both talked about kindness and tenderheartedness. You both used those exact same words. She's always been attracted to your tender hearts. Even way back before you guys were dating, you were on a trip in East Asia together and she was talking about her heart for the people there and the need for the gospel to be uh, there and the, for the gospel to go forth in that place and said she noticed you tearing up just her talking about it. She's always been attracted to your, your tender heartedness for the, for the gospel and for the brokenness in this world. Father God, we praise you for this day to celebrate Keith and Caroline. We ask that you would fill them with your spirit, that you would enable them to love each other like you have so graciously loved us. And we praise you for this time to, to support them and love them. And we pray all this in your precious name. Amen. Caroline! Train you have. Yeah. Gosh. 
She looks so beautiful. Your hair Thank and you. everything. I don't want to mess you up. <laughs> Thank you. Well, friends and family uh, who are gathered here, are those some good qualities uh, to build a, a marriage on? Uh, kindness, tenderheartedness, loyalty, protection, humor, empathy, laughter. I mean, it is no surprise to anyone that God has brought you together to be married today and that he's prepared you well for it. Well, we all agree that Keith and Carolina prepared well for marriage, I think, but, but we also know that what has brought them together aren't just these mutual qualities, though as important as these things are and the, as much as these things set you guys up for success in marriage, it's not just these things uh, that bind you together, but something much, much deeper and mutual faith in Jesus. No. What gives uh, Keith and Caroline's life and their marriage meaning is their saving relationship with Jesus Christ. And what, what we mean by that is not just that they think Jesus was a real guy who lived one day or that there is just a God, but they, they, they truly believe that uh, God created them to, to know Him and to exist in relationship, but because of their own sin, they've been separated from God and, and have, uh, that, that relationship has been damaged. But through, uh, through the, the finished work of Jesus Christ, who was born, lived a perfect life, died for their sins in their place, that by believing and having faith in Him, that they might be saved, that, that they might have true salvation in Christ by uh, knowing that He took the punishment for their sins. They've responded to that, and, and they both, uh, that, that is, as we've said, is what you guys center your life on, and, and that is something uh, deep, that Christ is a sure and steady anchor of the soul. And so uh, built on that foundation of Christ as well as all of these uh, wonderful uh, common characteristics and ways that you guys, uh, God has created you guys to love each other. It is uh, truly uh, no su surprise that God in His kind providence has prepared you guys well to be married to one another today. By the power vested in me as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, I now pronounce you man and wife. Keith, you may kiss your bride. <laughs>